you all know that I came from a cult. And when I was watching Israel defend itself at the ICJ and reverse everything back around onto the IDF and their actions and not accept any accountability was not lost on me. So when the Jehovah's Witness organization have legal troubles, what they do is very similar. They blame their members for the actions, even though that there is this hierarchical control and those at the top, the elite, are the ones who make the policies and procedures that the members just follow. When the members follow to the T, then the members are the ones who are blamed. For instance, the shunning policy. If someone you love, your family member, leaves the religion, you have to shun them. But the organization will say, oh, well, that was their decision. We never told anybody specifically that they have to shun anybody, even though their rhetoric from the pulpit encourages that kind of behavior. The no blood policy. Jehovah's Witnesses are not allowed to accept blood and a thousand people die every year because of that harmful policy. And the Jehovah's Witnesses, when someone's life is lost, they will simply say, well, that was their personal conscious decision to not accept blood. When again, literally, it's the ones at the top, just like with Israel, they are the ones spitting out all this harmful rhetoric about everybody is a terrorist in Palestine. Everybody deserves to die. And then when the IDF act upon those instructions, Israel goes, we can't be held accountable for that. Just the same way that the cult, the Jehovah's Witness organization says, oh, they refuse blood. We can't be held accountable for that. 